Hey everybody, welcome back to my playthrough of Prey. Thanks for joining me again. We're here in uh, the Talos One lobby. We did a little bit of exploring down there, not a whole lot. We'll go back down there, don't worry. We were down there, there was a phantom in that room beneath us, and uh, we grabbed uh, we grabbed a uh, turret. The turret right there that is now uh, in need of repair. We used that to uh, kill the phantom. It worked pretty well, really. What is that? Oh, that looks weird from here. But now we have an objective. Earlier in the game, we were given an objective, an optional objective called The Corpse Vantage Vanishes. Simmons wrote an email to Jovan Gravelovich stating that Bellamy kept some psychoscope research data in his new, in his new, in his crew cabin. Apparently, Bellamy's corpse is in the trauma center and might still have the key card to his cabin. Oh, I didn't even notice this here. View on map. <laughs> well, this is the first time I'm looking at the map. I forgot there was a map. I say forgot because uh, I saw that there was a key mapped to map when I was setting up my key bindings. And then I forgot about it. So this is kind of cool. We're over here. This is our current objective. Here's the Neuromod division. So I guess these are places we've already been. So, we have the uh, key card that will allow us to go in here. I thought we did. I thought we picked this up. Oh. Um. Huh. Didn't I pick up that key card? I thought I did. I don't know if I have an inventory of things like key cards station map cool okay oh wow spoiler alert <laughs> there's gonna be an arboretum huh so yeah I don't know how to find keys here we go oh key cards so I have a key card to the simulation lab. I guess that's what I picked up. Hmm. Where is the simulation lab? Have I already been there? Or... I thought this thing had like multiple floors. So we've been in the Neuromod division. Ah, oh, man. I was hoping I could, like, zoom in on the Neuromod division to see if I've been to the, uh... to the simulation lab. Huh. Plans. No research. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So I just, I came up here thinking I could get into this place. But apparently I can't. Oh, whoa, I could harvest this. Can't break that. It's probably good that you can't. Some kind of labs over there. Whoa. I was going to harvest everything, man. This stuff could come in handy at some point. Well, since I can't get into the trauma center. Yeah, she, I thought that maybe she would have the key on her, but she doesn't. I guess we'll go about our other objective, which is this one called an office with a view. I've been aboard Talos 1 for a long time, trapped in some kind of repeating test, but I have no memory of how I got here. January says there's a video I need to see that will answer my questions. So we need to get to the video file. And uh, this map is not very useful, let's face it. Uh, we can't go into the staff lounge. Because that is broken. Although I thought for just a second there, there was a... Something showed up on my screen, like if I could interact with something, but I guess not. So this video file is in that direction and I don't know how to get there so let's just go upstairs and see if there's a way to come up and then go back down 
Or actually, maybe this is the floor I need to be on after all. Here is the teleconferencing center. There's another body in there. Ooh, a gun! Two guns! Whoa! Is that that guy that we saw at the starting of the game when we first came to Transtar? Remember when we first arrived at Transtar and Alex, you, our brother, was there and then there was this dude in, like, the security center? Is that him? Kind of looks like him. That's a big room that I can't get into at the moment. No matching key card, and um, apparently there's no way to hack it either. Huh. Interesting. All right, well, let's go this way into the executive offices. So I'm just kind of like, okay, good. There's another turret. I'm just walking around here like there's not a thing in the world to be afraid of. But I will admit that seeing that turret there makes me feel a little better. Bianca Goodwin, guest and volunteer liaison. Beautiful painting. I'm going to take that apple, man. Trauma Center. Ha ha ha. Got the Trauma Center key card. Does our uh, inventory have any text for the things we pick up? It doesn't, does it? Okay. All right. Well, we got a... Oh, okay. Executive offices. Nice. Thank you. Got ourselves a trauma key card. Now we could look at our computer. These people don't don't even bother to lock their computers. Let's read our emails. Good morning, Talos. Warning: tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to security. What? All right, why did you feel like you needed to tell me that? So this is from John Haskins to Bianca Goodwin and somebody named Sarah Elazar was copied. Volunteer attitude, Ms. Goodwin. I'm going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't... Oh, this is one person. I thought he was saying 11 people. Somebody who goes by the number 11... This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out to stretch his legs. When you get up here, the key code is 8694, not the old number on file. I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. Security Officer John Haskins. Okay, so now we know a key code. That's pretty cool. Here is an email about meeting... Damn it. Meeting Gustav. So, all right. I apologize. I um, I keep wanting to scroll with my mouse wheel, but that brings up uh, <sighs> scrolling with my mouse wheel brings up this, right? And then you see I keep beating the crap out of these screens. It's because I want to click on that with my mouse, but no, that makes me swing this instead. I need to use my use button. So I don't know if I'll ever get used to that. So, Dr. Deo Igwi wrote to Bianca Goodwin about meeting Gustav. Ms. Goodwin, to follow up on the previous request, I was wondering if there had been any updates on Gustav Leitner's visit. Is it still taking place, and if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I would love a chance to meet him before the neuromapping procedure, if possible. I did it again. I did it again. I'm trying to scroll up. I'm sorry, I've used computers for a long time, and <laughs> I want to click on these things, man. Oy, oy, oy. Well, luckily I don't break the computer when I smash it. Okay, and then Bianca wrote back to Dr. Igwe and said, Dr. Igwe, I relayed your previous requests, and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for a face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know when I have more details. Sincerely, Bianca. Okay, and then he writes back and says, okay, thank you. And then here is another email about Leitner's visit from Helen Croft to Bianca Goodwin. It says, uh, yeah, Igwe showed up quiet and polite. He shook Leitner's hand like he was afraid of breaking him. 
asked him to sign an album he'd brought. Leitner seemed flattered, so that was a plus. We tried to make him, comf make him comfortable. His condition hasn't stopped him from craving a cigarette. Fingers were twitch twitching. It's too bad, such a talent, no wonder he wanted to get scanned. Helen, what is going on? Huh, so what's the story with that guy? She didn't have any files or utilities. Now, she's just for a split second there, it looked like I could interact with something. I thought I saw some words or something show up. I don't see anything, though. Well, we got the Trauma Center card. Um, and since this is a uh, optional quest, an optional objective, I'm going to do this one first before we do the main objective. Because I worry that if I do the main objective, then this one will go away. It could happen. Alright, unlocking. Grab a couple of things out of that trash can. Here's the trauma center. We're gonna pick these flowers. So what happened in here? Uh-oh. I don't know what that sound is, but I don't like it. Uh, I'm gonna guess that that's a phantom making that noise. I don't know for sure. Hey, look, that, uh, oh no, never mind. I was gonna say that that broken turret's gone, but it's actually a floor beneath us. I'm going to actually go up here and grab this turret and take it down there with me. Come here, buddy. I'm surprised that I can carry these things. Figured they'd be too heavy for me. Okay, so we're going to go down here. And... I'm going to set this up. We're going to deploy it. Because I am very worried that there is... Oh, there's something in here, alright. The sound effects are fantastic. It really did sound like something was walking in this direction. Can that thing hear me walking around? Is that what's going on? Whoa, okay, he saw me. Whoa, that was... Go to your offices, zero, four, five, one. Okay, thanks. Did you see that? There was something out there, all right. And up at the top of the screen, it just said question marks like it didn't know what it was. Or like we don't know what it was. Whoa. Okay, that looks uh, horrifying. We don't know what that is. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna kinda... walk a little bit more quietly around here. And uh, try not to get the attention of this thing. Anna Goldcrest. What's she got on her? What is that? Biohazard waste? Freaking me out, man. You're freaking me out, dude. Uh, biohazard waste, a container of biohazardous and medical waste. Refrigerate or recycle immediately. Oh, anyway, well, I'm taking it. Sylvain Bellamy tracking bracelets. Got that. Oh. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Repair is needed? What do you mean repair is needed? I've got some key codes. So what the heck did we just pick up? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Is it in here? Yeah, it is. Uh, a security tracking bracelet issued to all Transtar employees and volunteers. Okay, I don't think that's what we came here for. Pretty sure it's not. Still looking for his corpse, his actual corpse. And according to this, it's right in front of us. 
Or maybe it just thinks it is because that's where his bracelet is, right? I mean, how else could it track him? Those are some scary sound effects. Uh, I don't need that stuff, I don't think. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. System alert. Repair is needed. Wish there was a door here I could shut. Oh, hell. <clears throat> Can I look at this computer from this side? <laughs> oh, it's a security station. Uh, please swipe your tracking bracelet to recall your reservation. Okay. Utilities. Let's see what we've got. Area map. Download area map. Okay, cool. That opens up the whole map. I love it when games do this. <laughs> I love it. I love maps in games. And now we can see the whole map. And you can see right here this little symbol that's kind of hard to see because I'm standing on top of it. That's our objective. So again, the game thinks that Bellamy's body is right here. Not the game, but the bracelets, or the system thinks that because of the bracelets, right? Guessing. Uh, crew and email. Uh, here is an email. So originally, Alejandro Mata. I tell you what, man. I am not going to be able to read this with that thing walking around in there. I'm just not. I'm going to have to take it out. Oh. Okay, I was a little slow on the on the draw there. I don't think it's dead. My turret's still alive. It's still there. I wonder what the range is on this turret. Something's on fire over there. Or is that just what he looks like? He just looks like he's on fire. No idea if we did any damage to him or not. But uh, I'm a little worried that this turret isn't going to survive this battle. Actuators. Nominal tilt handling error. Please contact engineering. Whoa! Okay, well, that, uh, that'll that do that. He has some kind of psionic abilities. He... <laughs> he knocked down that turret before... The turret could do its job. And he must have done some damage to me, because look, my health is down to 52. Ugh. I guess I'm going to take a med kit here. My health back up. I'm not going to be able to fight this thing. There's no way, man. There's just not any way. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. Okay, darn, I was kind of hoping he left. Okay, I was more than kind of hoping he left. What's this right here? Garfield Langley corpse? What? That's somebody's corpse? Good morning, Talos. Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ugh. Crap. Well, I'm gonna have to try to read this stuff anyway. I said threat detected. Are you gonna do anything about it? Oh, I, I finally I saw its health, and uh, just a very teeny tiny. See up at the top of the screen there. He's totally fine, man. He's not really hurting much at all. Trauma center, pa trauma center, patients ahead of you. One.
So now, I'm wishing that I would have gotten the repair skill instead of the leverage skill so that I could repair that uh, turret, but don't really know what good it would do anyway, since um, it's not going to... It's not going to uh, hurt this guy anyway. Oh well, let's let's try this. He's not doesn't seem like he's going to leave there. So, originally Alejandro Mata wrote to Regina Sellers asking about NSP booster shots. Uh, or no, Regina wrote to Alejandro. Alejandro, who is the NSP being administered to? Inventory shows a case of the booster shots are missing, Regina Sellers. And then Alejandro wrote back to her and said, Regina, sorry, should have informed you, NSP shot was for Chief Illusion? Mild physio, physionomic fatigue, should have logged it. And then Regina writes back and says, Alejandro, please come see me. Can you transfer her charts and family records as well? Chief is a female? Okay. And then Regina says again, Weird, I can't pull those records up. They're not in the system. Still want me to swing by. Huh. Okay, I don't understand that at all. Incoming casualties from Alex Yu to Trauma Security. Ooh. Okay. Attention all security officers in trauma. You have multiple people en route with injuries, as well as a possible fatality. One of them is Dr. Sylvan Bellamy. Do not take him into the trauma center. He must be taken to psychotronics. This is an extremely grave security and health issue. I repeat, do not admit Dr. Sylvan Bellamy to the trauma center Take him to Psychotronics immediately. What is going on? So, um, that changed our objective. Apparently, Bellamy's corpse is in the trauma center and might have a key card to his cabin. After some digging around, I found that Bellamy's corpse is actually located in Psychotronics. Get Bellamy's room key from his body. View on map. Okay, that's a totally different place that is airlocked. So it's going to take some time to get there. We're not going to get there right away. Well, the good news about this is that I no longer have to go in that room, and I'm not about to go in there now because we are not ready to fight whatever it is that's in there. But before we leave here, there's uh, some crew. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, wow. What's the check mark mean? Huh? Oh. Locate Kruma, refine Anna Goldcrest and tell us one lobby. Didn't we just see her? Whoa. Now why does that one have a check mark next to it? Oh, because we have found her. Right? Locate crew member. See, I thought we saw her already. Well, isn't she the one that's right outside the door? Hold on. Who is this that's out here? Oh, Laura McAvoy. Anna Goldcrest. I thought we saw her body. That name sounds familiar. Was she in the trauma center? I saw... I saw that name. Is this her? This is her right here. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, that objective has been updated. We found Anna Goldcrest. Huh. Interesting. So for whatever reason... We can make these little quests. Wow, I mean, there's life support, hardware labs, deep storage, arboretum, cargo bay, talisman bridge. Holy hell! 
Psychotronics Neuromod Division, Shuttle Bay, Crew Quarters, Guts, Talos One Lobby, and Power Plants. Holy moly! So, whoa. So, Anna Goldcrest is in the Talos One Lobby. We just found her. Now here's somebody, a Manuela da Silva. Her status is nominal. She appears to still be alive. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. But everybody else has no life signs. Here's a Bernard Griffith. He's in his crew quarters. Ike Stewart. So there's some people alive in crew quarters. Another person in crew quarters. Where's crew quarters? Um, up here. So we'd have to go from the lobby to the arboretum and then to crew quarters. But these uh, red lines make me think that um, we can't get that way. That's my guess. Yeah. Well, apparently we get to Psychotronics, but there's a airlock on it. <laughs> this is so cool. This is so cool. So, um, man, this is, this is weird. So, Beth Eno is also in the Talos One lobby. Henrik DeVree. Randolph Hutchinson? Huh, that's weird because I know, I mean, look. Here's, um, Laura McAvoy. But we don't know what section she works in, right? So, <laughs> I mean, we'd have to go through all of these to find her. There she is right there. Oh, okay, and there's a, there is a check mark, but it's weird that we have this objective now and then we get the objective updated with the check mark by it so it's kind of kind of strange I mean do I need to do that show completed huh okay Hmm. Yeah, this is, uh... It's kind of weird, I mean... Darn it. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's some people alive in the Arboretum as well, it looks like. Oh, Alex Yu! Huh. So according to this, he's still alive. So it's interesting to me that, I mean, this this is like, over here, I, th I thought this is like where they worked. It's obviously not where they are because, see, their location is different. Oh, well, Oliver Benoit, Alex Yu's personal assistant is still alive. So then where are we, you know? Where, where are we, where? Oh, this is crew quarters. I don't quite understand this. It does say crew quarters. I mean, where is, uh, us, Morgan Yu, you know? Where are we on here? I don't know, man. But anyway, I'm not sure. I mean, we've already come across several bodies. Like, here's, you know, Laura McAvoy. We've already come across several bodies, but do I not get the, you know, do I not complete the goal unless I come back here and choose them and then go find them? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. And I'm probably spending way too much time on it. Yeah, see here's, uh, we found Jovan Grevelovich before. We found Greta, remember? So I don't know where we are in this. Okay, well that's enough of that. 
So like I said, I'm not going to go in that room because that thing's in there. We'll come back and try to get in there later. Um, when uh, we have more powerful weaponry and when maybe we're a little bit stronger. Or maybe a lot more stronger because that thing looks scary as can be. So we're going to go ahead and go on up into our office and look at this video file. My turret's gone. What the heck happened to this office? Oh, this is Dr. Bellamy's office. Why does it look like this? Consciousness, the fire in the equations. Excerpt from chapter one, Consciousness, the fire in the equations by Dr. Stuart Penrose. The nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of experience, my inner life, be explained in scientific terms? Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among brain neurons? Or is it a fundamental and irreducible property woven into the fabric of the universe? Excellent questions. Uh, here's a note. Staff. Please move these remaining boxes to my new office in Neuromod Division as soon as feasible. Okay, so he has a new office. Here's a book, Principles of Neuroscience, 10th edition. The brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes such as plant photosynthesis Avian navigation and our own sense of smell paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubes of neurons. We already read that. We didn't read it here, we read it elsewhere. Hater University. Hey again, All personnel should report to their workstations for the day. If you expect to be absent for any reason, please inform your immediate supervisor. Okay. MSC in Molecular Science. Huh. Hater University, be it known that Kennedy School of Science Sciences. All right. He's got one email sitting here. Test subject from Morgan, that's from us, to Bellamy. Sylvan, I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good work, so hopefully that continues. Winky face. Listen, if the tests don't go well, if something happens, let Alex know that I know it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this. Also, if the tests drag on, consider moving your office down to Sim. Less hassle, and you can always move back after we celebrate our success. Huh. Okay. So that's why he was moving his office. Ooh, here's some more flowers for us. Grab a little of that. I guess this is our assistant's desk. What the? What the? What the hell? What? Was it above me? It's like a shadow. Is there another one? Well, that was weird. How <laughs> that thing's still marked. These bastards. Okay, there's our office. We'll go in there in just a second. There's a banana. Take that. Give us a little bit of health. Jason Chang. We don't know this password. <laughs> OMG Hot Boss. <laughs> okay. One email. It's from us to Jason Chang. Uh-huh. Oh, and then we got the key code again. Jason, maintenance screwed the keypad up. 
or screwed the keypad to my office. Had them set it to 0451. I'll be in sim labs, a, sim labs a while, so if you need anything, help yourself. Okay. All right, let's go in here. Oh, it's gonna make me enter it. I'm worried about what I'm gonna find. Your office. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Well, we're gonna look at a video. Not really that great of a view though, really, you know it? Kind of a view of a wall, even if it's far away. Perot College. A doctor of science. Got a speaker here. Locker. That's weird. Why can't I interact with it? I love the music in this game. Three Neuro mods. Whoa, I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Teleconferencing. There's a note. Probably has our password on it. Seems like that's what everybody does around here. I'll get to that in a minute. Let's look around a little bit. This. Oh, another baseball glove. Nice. I'm going to start a team. Too Far, Too Fast 1. First excerpt from Commercialization of the Space Program, J.V. Edwards, Ph.D. In Kennedy's second term, the space race reached new heights and without his support may have sputtered completely. A succession of moon launches heralded the coming of an accelerated, energetic space program both within the halls of government and in the public eye. Unusual at the time, especially in contrast to Kennedy's first term, Rather than being simply a race between two powers, the Soviets and the United States seem to be reaching out to space together. <laughs> cool. Ah, I got a bonsai here. Start. Fabricator. Okay. Operator dispenser. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, med kit. Morgan, use sweet. We got a key card to our sweet. Synthetic material, organic material. There's all kinds of stuff here for fabrication. More stuff. More stuff. What's this thing? Control panel. Place items in bin. Why can't I use that? Whoa. So I can recycle things. <laughs> oh gosh. What the heck? Okay, game. Now would be a good time for a tutorial. <laughs> what the heck? Recyclers can be used to recycle unwanted items. Doggone it, game. You keep... Stuff keeps disappearing too quickly. Uh, I think tutorials... We're out here, and uh, oh, fabricators. Fabricators use fabrication plans to create dozens of useful items aboard Talos 1. Each item fabricated consumes some combination of organic, mineral, synthetic, and exotic materials. Search Talos 1 to find plans and materials. And then recycler. Recyclers convert unwanted items into synthetic, mineral, organic, and exotic material which can be used by fabricators to construct new items. Okay. Don't know what that is. Start. Select fabrication plan. Huntress bolt caster. Yea, verily, any who wouldst challenge thee shall be slain in hasty fashion. 
when the huntress lets fly her flexifoam bolts with truest aim. No fabricating during work shifts. Infinite licenses. Place crafting ing ingredients in slots. I need two of these things. It's not going to let me add any ingredients. I guess because I don't have any of whatever that is. So if we look at our in inventory, we'll see that, for example, this will yield, whatever I have selected, this will yield 2.64 of that. I don't know why they made the colors different, but that's the same symbol. So I don't know why they did that. But uh, if we go over here and uh, I place this, for example, in the bin and uh, press st start very dramatically does that. So now if we go over here, add ingredients, there we go, I put two synthetic materials in there. That's all it takes to make a Huntress bolt caster? Alright. <laughs> I now have a Huntress bolt caster. The Huntress bolt caster launches foam darts which do zero damage. Also known for its ability to annoy co-workers, distract enemies, and remotely trigger buttons and screens. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So it is not completely useless. However, I have no ammo for it. And I have no idea how to get or make or find ammo for it. <clears throat> so... I'm going to leave all this stuff here uh, because this is where the fabricator is and um, when I uh, get another uh, recipe or whatever we'll come back here and fabricate it but for now it's back to the wrench unfortunately and um, back to uh, our desk here Here's an apple that I flat out missed. So that's us, Alex, and then I guess mom and dad. Mean looking bunch, jeez. Why so, why so dour? Whoa. Oh, I picked it up. <laughs> I'm in. Uh, oh well, I guess this is just gonna have to, there. A safe. Glue Cannon Ammo Fabrication Plan. A canister of compressed incapacitant foam refills the glue cannon. Weapon Upgrade Kit. A programmable weapon modification device requires gunsmith or lab tech ability for advanced upgrades. Okay. You've acquired a Weapon Upgrade Kit. Press I to go to your inventory to use. Three neuromods. I don't even know what I'm going to use them on. Teleconferencing. Took that key card. There's a note. Good morning, Morgan. I got the plan you requested. It's in your safe. Jason. Okay, that was the glue thing. So if we wanted to, we could come back over here. And we can make a glue canister. And it would take... Um, Two trees and two whatever that is. Now if we look at our inventory, we'll see we've already got quite a bit of goo canister stuff, 338. So and I'm not really using that yet anyway, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rush into making that right yet. Alright. Let's enter our password here. This is the same password we used at home. I don't know if you remember starting the game when we uh, used our computer. Um, this is the password we had. Oh, 
One utility. Watch me, Morgan. Hello, Morgan. This LGV file should clear things up. Make sure you're alone when you hit play. And then he's got three emails. You made it! Okay, that's from January. A question mark from uh, Michaela Illusion. Good morning, Charlie. As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. DeVee promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. Okay. So this is that same last name as that chief before. It says, I still don't know what happened. I've put it behind me. But there's no reason we can't still be civil. You passed me in the hall today, and you looked through me. If you're angry at something I did, tell me, and we can talk about it. Pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We still have to work together, Mika. Huh. I mean, could it have been that our memory had already been wiped when we saw her? But we wouldn't be out here. We would still be in the simulation, so we wouldn't have walked past her. Do not disturb. From Jason to Morgan. Morgan has requested. Your terminal logs are set to be automatically forwarded to your suite and crew quarters. And the supplies from hardware sent up. Let me know if they got to you all right. And if not, I'll get it resolved. Like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I'll hold down the fort outside your office, Jason. All right. Well, got some bad news for you. This is where this episode ends. <laughs> I need to end this episode here. We come back next time. We will go in here and we'll watch this video. We'll pick up these three neuro mods and decide how to spend them. And then we'll go wherever the game takes us next. So I hope you join me then. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, won't you let me know? You can do that by leaving a like or a comment. If you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you join me again in the next episode.